These are the scariest myths in Minecraft that you do not want to find. Starting with the skulk infection. So we have a player in a cave, I believe. Um, nothing crazy. So far things look normal. I don't see an infection, but we're digging in. Oh, wait. Is it normal that skull blocks are just in there? I don't think so, right? It's supposed to be in the ancient city. I don't think this person's in the ancient city. They're just like b below the overworld. Look, the skulk was like growing. It's it's increasing the spread in the cave. Blech. Okay, escape, run. Yes, get out of here. Those are very steep stairs. Is the warden at the top of these stairs? Potentially. I mean, I think of the warden when I think of the skulk stuff. So maybe the warden is actually <gasps> the one behind all this. Did you see the infected skeleton? Could you go in creative mode and just fly out of here or something? This is a lot of stairs. So what do you think is causing this infection? Are we going to be able to find that if we join this seed? That means we may run into some infected mobs and I don't know if I am ready like this video to support me oh my goodness all right so we're here on the seed and let me tell you what a beautiful person on discord let us know uh they let us know that on the seed skulk invaded the entire world and only left death behind so i am feeling very nervous and yeah, we gotta defeat this thing to save the players. All right, so in the message, we were given the coordinates to the exact cave from the evidence. So we're just gonna mine around, see if there's anything crazy. I know in the video, he was kind of like digging into the wall and that's when he happened upon some skull. Okay, have no fear, we're going to keep looking. What if we just head to an ancient city? Because obviously that's where Skulk comes from. So let's go there. We're here in the ancient city and y'all, this is not normal. There are skeletons in the ancient city. I mean, I've never seen such a thing. Have you? Where are they all coming from? Oh my gosh. Did you see an infected skeleton standing right here? I promise I did, just like in the evidence video. These guys look normal so far though. So I think it's almost like a zombie apocalypse, you know, where things slowly start infecting everybody in the city. Um, oh. There's a skeleton spawner right here. That's a little odd. Do the skeletons have something to do with the infection? So far, I don't see a warden, so we like that. Are there, there's even more skeletons over here with candles and another spawner. Are there normally little caves like this in the ancient city? There could be. I haven't done the most exploration down here, but there's no skulk in this cave. So wait, I have an idea. If it's an infection, it has to spread somehow. So let's go into our creative menu here and grab a skulk catalyst. I'm pretty sure if you kill mobs around a skulk catalyst that it will begin spreading the skulk everywhere. So I'm gonna give myself a diamond sword, and I don't know, what's your least favorite mob? We're gonna do a zombie, because honestly, they're just the easiest to kill. So, I'm gonna place one of these down here. I'll place two. Why, like, let's go crazy. Why don't we? Die. <gasps> Whoa! Hey, I made an advancement. Wait, hold on, it's... <laughs> Y'all... I'm so embarrassed right now. I thought the skulk just killed the zombie. I literally used a sword just now to kill it. Um, anyways, let me spawn another one. Um, it's definitely working. It's spreading like it normally would, right? Wait, I have a thought. We went into creative to grab the skulk catalyst. What if we have to find one that naturally spawned in the ancient city? Like, ooh, this guy. This one really is standing out to me. I feel like this could be the one. Hmm. Now I want to pick it up and place it. And the only way we can do that is with an enchanted pickaxe. So let's grab this. Okay, so we just enchanted our beautiful pickaxe. Go back in survival mode and see if we can get this thing without destroying it. I'm gonna pick it up very carefully. And, ta-da! Whoa! It just like attached to the ground again. Did you see that? That was a glitch or a lag or something. We'll, we'll get it again. This time is it. What? Guys, what if this is what started it all? This is definitely not how Skulk is supposed to function. Okay. Well, now I've got some in my inventory. All right, if we want to really test this correctly, let's go to the surface. There shouldn't be any Skulk around there. So we'll place it down and see what happens. So we are back up 
In the overworld, it's beautiful. We love it. It's not as scary as the ancient city. Oh my goodness, sorry. The sheep actually just scared me genuinely. Let's find the perfect spot to place some of the skulk we got from the ancient city. How about by this flower? Let's place this down here and... Okay, let's be honest, y'all. Here's the thing. It's gonna take a while to see if this infection's gonna spread. So let's head on to the next myth and I'll check back in to see if the skulk infection spreads at the end of this video. The blood cactus. This user claims they were killed by a cactus they weren't even touching, they turned red. And they are sure that this world is definitely cursed. So we're on a horse, everything's fine. In a desert temple, oh. Trying to avoid the pillagers, I assume. Oh, okay, so we see a few cactuses and we're, wait. Okay, they look normal so far. Normal cacti. I think some of the cactuses could be growing faster. What if something evil is hiding inside of the cactus that is killing the players? All right, we're gonna use the horse to get away. And wait, did that cactus get bigger? I, what are we gonna see? There's so many cacti. <gasps> Those are growing very quickly. That is not normal and was pricked to death, which means they got killed by a cactus 100%, but the player wasn't even touching it just like the evidence said. Okay, let's find a desert temple. All right, we do not have the exact coordinates. However, we are going to locate a desert temple since that's where the video evidence we received was from. Okay, so to be honest, for a hot second, I didn't even say anything to you guys when I pushed the, the coordinates button because it's just like I have black screen and I thought my computer was glitching, but let's see what's around us. I'll go into spectator mode. Oh, whoa. Have you ever located a structure and then it spawned you like underground? That's very strange. That is not the typical situation. And can we also talk about the fact there are literally no cactuses or cacti around us? Wait, okay, it's like they heard me. Do you see all the cactuses that just appeared when I said that? There's definitely something cursed going on. All right, so here's obviously what we have to do. We have to test the cacti. If I go into survival, will it do like the normal amount of damage or will I instantly die? Let's see. That was very normal. Okay, I have another idea. What happens if a mob touches the cactus? Let me turn it to nighttime and we are going to spawn in some zombies. Hit the cactus, bump into the cactus. You know what? Here, you just go that way. Okay, that actually looks like normal damage. I kind of feel bad for him, honestly. But that looked totally normal, right, guys? Put it in the comments if you disagree with me. And then, oh, wait, I was just about to grab a spawn egg for a skeleton. When all of a sudden, ah! When all of a sudden, I saw a pig over here instantly die to a cactus. I don't know, if you didn't see it, please rewind. Let me know if you saw it too. There's no pork chops, there's nothing left on the ground. Did the cactus like steal the mob drop or something? Is that possible? I know I saw a pig die. Guys, I have something I would like to check back on the video evidence for. How tall did these cactuses actually get? So they got to, it looks like just three, blocks tall, which is normal. That's not too crazy. Maybe in order to spawn the cactuses that are killing the players, they have to naturally grow. So I'm gonna plant some and see what happens. Let's do a cute little formation like this. And I'm gonna do something crazy. We're gonna change the tick speed so we can see how tall these cactuses can grow. Guys, have no fear. This is a part of normal Minecraft. We're just making the tick speed extra crazy. We're going to 3000. Whoa, wait, is this one glitching? Hold on, let's change the tick speed back. Let's change it back to three. I don't wanna crash the server. I thought it was three blocks tall, but now it's just two. Maybe there's an invisible block. No, hello. Maybe I'll take damage from it. Let's go into survival. Ow, yes, I'm quickly dying. All right, actually this seems pretty normal. I'll be right back. I have another idea for a test. For my next test, we're going to see how will an iron golem do against these cacti here. Let's see. We're summoning an iron golem. Okay. Sir, politely, would you get that, go that way? 
<gasps> what is this ginormous cactus? Okay, so normally if you hit a, a cactus, you know, the rest of it just like despawns. Why is this not doing that? It. <gasps> There's a creepy cactus just chilling in here. Oh, this is a bad sign. There's like XP on the ground and a spawner. Also, why is nothing spawning? The spawner's spinning, but maybe the mobs themselves are so terrified of this cactus, they're not spawning. Normally, if you place a block next to a cactus, it immediately despawns, right? So let's do that and it didn't despawn. This is an evil cactus. Maybe we spawn in some mobs and see what happens to them. <gasps> Y'all, I am right clicking the spawn egg and mobs won't even spawn down here. <gasps> Jimmy and our wife was bricked to death. Okay, I've respawned and guys, the blood cactus is definitely right here. What? Why does it look totally normal? I mean, there's definitely something funny going on. I don't have exact evidence, but guys, I'm actually gonna say the blood cactus is real. I was literally pricked to death. What if I told you that a Minecraft cave could kill you? Well, this myth, which Suki Blue calls the cross cave, is terrifying. All right, here's the video evidence. Him and his buddy. All right, you ready to go mining? All right, they're taking, oh, lots of maps. Like a, like a good bit of maps. Let's go where I have the maps follow me. So they're looking for a specific cave, it seems, because they have a specific map taking them where they wanna go. How does a cave trap you? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I guess we're gonna see it in the evidence. All right, the friend says, how far? <gasps> Did you guys see the fire that just randomly happened? Hold on, I need to read their conversation. I got distracted because a fire just happened in the forest over here. How far? It's right down here. Wait a minute. Did you just see that? What? No, LOL? Okay, so one friend saw the fire, one friend didn't. Never mind, let's go. No, this friend is correct. They definitely saw something funky. Bruh. Okay, well, they're going to continue on their journey. Maybe that was just like a weird glitch thing on the server. They're gonna find a great cave. Should be right up here. <gasps> there it is. There's the cave, they've made it. Whoa, look at all those signs. Use other mine at spawn, use other mine at spawn. Somebody's maybe trying to keep them away from this cave entrance. Nah, LOL, let's go through. Okay, this is what got them into trouble. They're literally breaking the rules. Somebody literally sealed this cave up so nobody else could ever go down here again. That's a bad sign. I've never seen stairs like this go into a cave. We're just gonna stop on the stairs and get some coal. Coal ye. Wow. Okay. <gasps> his friend's slowly dying. Just like they mentioned. What's happening? He's dropping his blocks. He said help. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, he's literally just slowly dying. The cave is like closing in around them. <gasps> Where'd the door go? They're literally trapped. How are they going to leave? <gasps> Suffocated in a wall. Literally the cave closed in around them. This is why you follow the rules though. They didn't listen to the sign. All right, let's find the cave. So we are now on the server where the cross cave was seen. Now we just have to locate the exact cave that killed the player. Hmm. What? Did you guys see a cross like randomly appear in this direction? Rewind and tell me. I know I'm not crazy. I saw it. I saw it right over here. Well, we're off to a in very intense start. We haven't even gotten a map yet. Let's grab one. Wait, there's not as many. That means you guys tried to test this myth too, didn't you? You went on the server and I get it. I respect it. Okay, I have a map four. I have a map five. And let's start our journey. This looks exactly the same. I think they were going down the dirt path. <gasps> Wait, look. Remember in the video evidence, there was fire that like flickered on the screen and one of the players didn't even see it. Well, now the entire area is on fire just constantly. Maybe somebody's like pranking the server or did this on purpose, cause yeah, maybe I shouldn't think too much into it. We're still going the right way. Wait, this is weird. The dirt path just stops. 
in the video evidence, if you guys want to watch it again for me, I believe the dirt path continued and the entrance was like right here. Did somebody try to seal this off? This is definitely where the cave entrance was, right? Let's just go through here and see, right? I just want to make sure I'm not crazy. See, this is exactly... Did the map just turn white? It just flickered on my screen and the whole image disappeared. You know what? I think that means we're on to something, actually. Let's keep seeing what is oh, this way. It's got to be from a player. Oh, speaking of a player, there's a name tag. Joey Trib? Hold on. Let's try to get to Joey. He could be in trouble. Oh, wait, help? Joey is saying, wait, help. Well, okay, we're going to help him. We're at the entrance to the cave where the player visited, where the evidence came from. Joey, I'm trying to help you. Joey died. So, I was too late. I know that we're at the exact cave. Use the other, use other mine at spawn. That's what we saw in the video evidence. Where's Joey? Joey? His dog, Spot. Hi, buddy. Wait, Spot's fine, but Joey died. So that means it couldn't have been an entity because either Spot would have eaten the entity or the entity would have gotten to Spot. I love you, Spot. Please subscribe for Spot. Um, all right, let's investigate this further. Spot, I love you. You're going to be okay, all right? What if we just, honestly, investigated like another path on this server because there could be something weird happening that's not just right here. Oh my goodness. What was that? I wasn't teleported anywhere. I didn't even move, but <gasps> this looks totally different. I guess I'll investigate, but I'm actually really scared. <gasps> it looks like a cross. I see the cross. This is beginning to feel very true. Let's check the map. Wait. <gasps> It's totally blank. It's it's not coming back either. The map is totally white. I We're in a cross cave. Our map is not working anymore. Are the walls getting closer together or is that just me? I feel like I'm about to get suffocated. Wait. Guys, it's a dead end. We have to get out of here. I'm going to run this way. We have to get out before we suffocate. <gasps> no, speaking of. Okay. Well, guys, I guess this means the cross cave is confirmed. It really exists. The split villager. The user claimed that their game crashed when it started looking at what looked like a split villager with something terrifying inside its body. And then when they restarted the game, their entire world was wiped. So we're here at, whoa. I was gonna say we're here on the seed, but I feel like we were just teleported somewhere. Before we explore more, let me take a look again at the screenshot. The player actually mentioned that the swamp they were in was next to a snowy village. See the ice here? So let's locate one of those and then see what happens. We're going to locate a snowy village in three, two, one. Okay, so we are in a snowy village, obviously, and I don't normally see swamps in this area, but wait. Speaking of not normally seeing something, what is this iron golem doing? Is he frozen with a villager? The villager is literally drowning basically in the water where it's meeting the ice and this iron golem is here. What does this mean? What is happening right now? That is very odd. And I have a feeling we're going in the right place. There's definitely something off. <gasps> Wait, is that a witch's hut? Did you see that? This looks just like the screenshot. Do I dare approach? Whoa, whoa, something doesn't want me to approach. Did you see the lag that just happened? Something's trying to keep me away, but we're gonna make sure we investigate quietly. I don't wanna upset the witch. Speaking of witch, there is no witch. What is going on? I don't even see like a cute little black cat or anything. What was that noise? Something is under the witch's hut. Maybe it's the witch herself. Oh. oh. No, it's just a sweet little cow that stuck. Here, be free, buddy. Aw, I really heard a villager though. It wasn't a cow. All right, I am heading back to this village. Something strange is going on, 
I'm just so on edge. Even this gives me the weird vibes. Like, why is there sand next to ice next to snow? That doesn't even seem normal. Whoa, they're like having a meeting over here? What's going on? What the heck? Have you guys ever seen this? They're all staring at this iron golem. Is, are they doing some sort of ritual? I've never seen something like this before. But I guess while everybody's occupied, this is a perfect time for me to go and look in some of the buildings and see if anything is off. Totally normal loot in there. About over here, totally normal. They are still all surrounding the golem. I kinda wanna check out an igloo. That's normal. So. This is very strange, what's going on right here, but the village itself seems totally fine. So maybe we explore the swamp a little bit more. Let's check on the witch hut really quick too, because what was that? Did you see something in the window? The witch is back. Maybe I can ask her some questions. Uh, no, it's a villager. This does not make sense. What are you doing here? I did hear a villager earlier though, when we found the cow, so I guess, there you go, it's confirmed that the villager actually was in this building. So, th thank you, sir. I'm gonna head more this way. We looked in the witch hut again, didn't really see anything, but what about the rest of the swamp? Let's take a look around the swamp, see if there's anything crazy. Oh, what is this guy doing here? Just all alone, just wandering in the middle of the swamp? I don't think you're supposed to be here, sir. Oh, do I see another witch hut? Wait, huts. There's two next to each other. Have you ever seen something like this before? I definitely haven't. This one's like totally boarded up too. This one has windows and looks pretty normal. And this one, something's off. Let's go inside and check it out. Yoo-hoo, is there a witch in here? Uh, oh my gosh, what was that? Did, do you hear something behind me? I don't want to turn around. Do I have to turn around? <laughs> Oh my goodness! The split entity is real, but it literally crashed my PC. You are not getting away that easily. I'm getting back on. This world contains invalid or corrupted save data? What? Okay, it's confirmed. The split villager is real and it is really terrifying. Let's check on the skull confection. All right, we are back to check on the skull confection and so far, nothing happened. It didn't spread anywhere. Literally everything looks just the same. Did we get lied to? Hold on, let's go back to the ancient city and check that cave that we placed Skulk in earlier. All right guys, we are back in the ancient city and this is the <gasps> cave where I placed the Skulk earlier. Y'all, this has spread. The Skulk has fully taken over this cave. Oh my goodness, this is even crazier than I could have expected. Wait, is that the warden? I, I, is that his ear? Oh, oh, it's one of these. It's one of these shrieker thingies, isn't it? Oh, sorry, um, that was kind of loud. What is that? Guys, that sounded like footsteps, but however, I think that could be the spreading skulk infection. Let's dig down and see if we can find where that was coming from. Ooh. Ah! Oh, okay. Good. Okay, so there's no infection down here like there was up there. So that's, <gasps> why is it falling down towards us? Oh no, 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 What? Mm -hmm. The infection is spreading faster than I expected. And remember the Discord user said, death follows when the skulk starts infecting everything. So um, let's try to get out of here. I Maybe this way? Wait, where is, <gasps> oh? My goodness, there's like a void situation right here. What could be in the void? I, whoa, hold on. Did something do damage to me? I'm literally in creative mode. That's impossible. You know what guys? I have a bad feeling about this. I'm going back to the ancient city and getting out of this cave. All right, we got out of that cave. I feel like barely alive to be honest with you, but I have one last thing I'd like to try. One of the most overpowered things in the entire game is the warden. So if we spot a warden next to the skulk and nothing happens, I think we're good. But if something does happen to the warden, this skulk is scary. All right, let's spawn the warden, like right next to it, right there, and, and just kind of encourage him, like, 
walk. Just kind of get over towards the, the skulk stuff, sir, please. Okay. <gasps> oh my goodness! Guys, I have a really bad feeling about this. <gasps> the infection is spreading! No! No, this is not going to end well. Remember, death follows exactly where the- No! Oh my goodness. <gasps> Wait! Okay, so the skulk infection is real. Death does follow where it goes, but you guys gotta go check out one of these next two videos.